Hey guys and girls, so in today's video we are going to be looking at splitting a model inside of Cura. So I've got a, a model here that I'll show you. And this is uh, from the Ultimate Harry Potter Wand Collection from Thingiverse. Uh, link in the description. And as you can see it is one sort of model, it's one STO, all the things are together. You can't really move it. And the problem with that is this piece here uh, really needs to be flipped to print well so if you print it like this it's just it is probably going to fail so how do we split it now you could obviously bring it into mesh mixer but that's actually a little bit of hassle so what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the marketplace you'll need to be signed in and then we're going to search for a plugin and we don't actually need to search because it's under featured and it's the mesh tools uh, plugin and we're going to install that I'm going to accept the license agreement. I would recommend you give it a quick read. Okay, so that's now installed, which is good. And we need to restart Cura. So we'll quit and restart. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to bring my model back in. Okay, so then we're going to just click on this. Click on the model. Right click and we've got a little option for mesh tools. And what we're going to do is split model into parts. Okay, just click that. Okay, and now all the parts are separate. We can move each part about do what we need to do so for example we can take this one we can rotate it okay and that's going to print a lot better okay and hopefully that's uh, going to save you some time okay because there's nothing worse than having to you know do a model um take it out into mesh mixer slice it bring it back in takes you know it takes a while so also with this um what i found is that you can get a little bit better quality obviously if you're just printing one one object um however i don't really tend to do that because at the end of the day you can just post process a little bit of sanding clean up but on some models you might if you're not getting good results printing say four things just try one one piece see what happens um it's a good idea to sort of play about and see what gives you the the best results okay and you can do this with uh, any stl that's got multiple parts um quite useful really don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and click the bell for further updates thanks for watching